Hello guys, this is Good Lord here, and today I am back with more Shang Tsung combos. This time I am using the Magma Erupt, or the Ground Erupt variation that also is equipped with the Corpse Drop. Now, the thing with the, uh, what is it? Ground Eruption is it takes up two special slots so it is quite important for when you get uh, right down to it now remember as far as uh, now remember the only magma erupt tournament variation only has the extra EX for your skull for your skull projectile so that instead of throwing out two, you throw out three. Now, I personally think that's a waste of two bars a meter, but we're just going to go hop right on to it. So, last time I talked about starting off your combos with 4 2 4, or starting it off with a 1 1, or a 2 1. Or heck, even a back 1-1. One, one. Now, or even your back 3 up 4. Well, you can still start off your combos the same. For one, because you still have, you know, the same old... The same old corpse drop. You still have the same old chord strap. The only difference is, is now you can push your combo to make it more dangerous. So, what a lot of people have seen online do is the same little combo bit, but they'll dash forward and where I dropped it after you EX your magma or your eruption. You dash forward, four, and then you catch them. Well, the funny thing is, is you don't even have to add the little extra kick in to catch them with your soul as mine. With your soul steel. You can just catch them across mid-screen. You just gotta time it. Oh, I guess he's too far away now. But... Um... But you'll end up having to do... With this combo, because you'll end up having to... Dash forward into something in order to get it to connect. Now I'm not really keen on dashing forward for anything because honestly I don't do a whole lot of dashing myself. Like I know it's a good system but I never used it. Like I used dashing a little bit in terms of dash cancelling with Scorpion and MKX but in terms of MK11 uh, it's kind of obsolete for me but you can catch it and do a 42% mid-screen combo apparently if you dash forward and can't and catch them so that's probably going to be the highest amount of damage you're going to be able to do mid-screen.
Yeah, so you can't get Sorcery Rush to connect with this variation. Unless, like, you know... You're really just trying to only get it to... You know, only connect. But... It's fine. We have a 42% mid-screen combo. We're good. Well, in the corner with this guy, he's not too strong. Partially being... Partially the reason being... Is because... When you go to combo with him in the corner... You can't get that to combo. Now... Now you may be able to... Do a close version? Possibly? Maybe? No, there's only a far version. So, yeah, you're kind of out of luck here if you're trying to do, like, soup the 42% combo that you do with the other variation. But, I mean, at this point... You can still get 35% if you really wanted to. This guy is mainly a mid-screen combo maker because of the fact that, you know, his ground eruption, you know, throws you up in the air, mid-screen, far enough so that you can happily mess around with people. So, I bet you're wondering, you know, what kind of combos you can make off of this. Well, there's not very many. So, in order to fully take advantage of it, we're going to have to go to the mid-screen to do this. But... Still gonna have to do your dash forward and everything, but you're only gonna get slightly over 30%. Now, that being said, using the crushing blow, the combo, you know, is it all for naught? It's just, you know, not gonna give you as much. Because it's not gonna give you as much, you know standability as you could with the other variation. But I mean, you could get lazy about it and go 32% with the soul steel being there, but you're still going to have that whole issue of you needing to connect it after you've ex your thing here. And the issue here is just trying not to get him to fall so fast so that you can dash for the catch. Now, that being said, Y'all probably are going to be able to do a lot better than I am with getting that combo to connect, but I don't really rely on it. If I'm going to rely on anything, I'm going to rely on converting this into something. You know? Because I'd rather have a surefire near 35-40% combo that I can rely on most of the time. And then throw out a, you know, a spare, you know, crushing blow here and there so that I can get some extra damage in. And if it happens to be against somebody that I know the character for, then yeah, sure. Go ahead. But if not, then I'm not even going to waste it. But... 
for this character, that's about as far as a breakdown as you can get. I mean, it's short and sweet and to the point. Like... I'm not really a fan of this variation. But I know why it's good. Because your ground eruption is fast enough to counter a lot of counter pokes and stuff. So whenever you go to cancel that, say they were blocking, you can cancel into that to push them away a little. Now, it's not plus on block, sadly, it's only 11. If you exit, you're, you know, neutral. Assuming that, you know, all of it's connected. Because if it doesn't all connect and they're just stuck between two, you wasted an extra few frames for Anabar meter to go and get dashed on and punished. So, that, that's my thoughts on this variation. Um, now, in terms of tournament variations, let's just go ahead and give them a look. Because if we don't, then, you know, I'm going to kind of forget. So, let's see what Lord Warlock has to offer for us. Warlock has the Amplify twice and the Ground Eruptions. Now, this is the one a lot of people tend to use. Because of the fact of the matter is, they can... into a combo... So now, instead of doing stupid big combos, you're going to have to moderate yourself for, you know, a decent 30% combo. Now I know, for some people, you know, not being able to do that extra bit of damage with everything else that you've had, especially the explosive corpse. Have no fear, this is still a really viable tournament variation. It's just, you're gonna have to get used to it in terms of cancel. I mean, you can still cancel that into overhead low so that, you know, you mix. So, the mix is still there. You're just not getting that extra buff off of it. You just, you know... Oh, hey, look, you didn't block right. Or, oh, hey, look. You didn't guess. thing is, is that you can EX this move twice. So, like say you get this in, you can't get potentially the same amount of damage, but you're still burning an extra bar of meter that's not needed. So, my recommendation is just to keep your combos, you know, somewhat manageable in terms of bars of meter so that you can keep, you know, the meter advantage the whole time. Because essentially in tournament variations, that's what this is, is you gotta keep meter advantage. Nine times out of ten. And I mean, if you know their character, go ahead, go in there, steal their soul, and you know, take advantage of that extra bar of meter when you can. But if you don't, 
don't go in there recklessly trying to, you know, I'm gonna be cool and steal your soul and, you know, hope for the best. Because it's probably not gonna end up turning out how you want it to. Not saying you don't know your characters, just saying, realistically thinking, that's the better option for you to go for. Now that's Warlock, so let's go see the other practice variation, or the other tournament variation that they have. Spellmaster. Alright, so let's see what he's got for us. Okay, so he's got the Screaming Soul, or, you know, the Screaming Soul. Scattering Souls and Soul Well. Okay, so I've personally never used Screaming Soul, so this is a new move. Scattering Souls haven't really used it much either. So so it's a full screen projectile. Oh. That is a pretty big range that it's got there. And the cancel takes a far meter, which is fine with me. What does he give it to the exit? Oh! It's a scroll! It bounces off a scroll, that's cool. Now, Soul Well, that is a pretty interesting mechanic because it steals their health for your own. Who bet? Crashing Flames. Okay, so I can see how this variation could be tricky. You know. You know, a very keep keep away variation. Stealing your opponent's health and then you know, kinda of giving yourself more health and everything of that matter but the major issue here is you have nothing to really combo with and that is a huge issue now scattering shoals so maybe you're able to combo with Can. Okay, so the thing with this variation is you're gonna have to use scattering scattering shoals EX in order to do anything. <laughs> Which is good and also bad. Because you're having to burn a bar of meter for a combo just so you can get, you know, some form of restand. Uh, let's see what else it can do. Um, you can cancel it, you can delay it. And if you delay it, it gets stronger every time. So it goes up one, two. Because if you just use it normally, it goes up six. Then after one shake, it goes up to more percent, two shakes. Up to 10%, 3, it goes up to 12%, which is the max. 
Now, you can cancel this without having to worry about wasting defensive meter. Which, I mean, could be a really good fake out. Considering that, you know, you can be like, oh, am I gonna pop it off immediately or not? You know. So, I can see this, like, variation being really viable in the corner where you can juggle a bit more, but other than that, this variation isn't really a whole lot other than, you know, you're gonna do a lot of pokes and do a lot of, you know, crazy little bits and stuff. Um, I think that's the only two variations I gave him. Yeah. So... That's it for Shang Tsung. Um, so, uh, as far as combo wise, I am done with Shang Tsung until they either give him another tournament variation or till y'all come up with another variation system that y'all want me to try out for him and try to figure out some combos for. I will try. But other than that, this is it for my Shang Tsung stuff. I can, uh, I'll make more videos of me playing him and other DLC characters as they arrive. It's just right now I need a lot more practice with Shang Tsung because I am dropping combos left and right and everything. And he's nowhere near on par as where I am with Scorpion or any of my other characters. So. Uh, I still have quite a bit of work to go on. So, uh, if you like this video, please show me some support by hitting that like and subscribe button down there. Uh, if you want to catch any of my news updates, whatever, for videos and any of that sort of relation, uh, there is a Facebook page link in the description below. And you can go and leave a like or a follow down there and you'll be notified. Uh, when I do do something um, Other than that, you know what just keep up the shenanigan guys see you in the next video